Hey, it's Drug Lines, and uh, this is my sixth video on logging into websites. Uh, and we're just demonstrating how web pages are different, and just, you know, the more we practice and play with different pages, the, the better you'll get at um, being able to do web scraping. And um, you, you constantly run into different types of things developers will create. So check out the, especially the first one, and the which was logging into Facebook, where I, I had a conversation with Hellbent talking through how to do it, and, and so I went much more in depth. It's longer, but it covers a lot of the reasons why you do stuff. Uh, these videos, now I'm just kind of cruising through them to show um, how you can do it, but I'm not discussing too much of the why I would pick certain things over others. So, first thing I need to do is uh, I need to connect with my IE window, and so in here I have a this is my script writer, and so I can say, hey, go put out the syntax that tells me how to connect with the current IE window. And this function here, this wbget function, it, this is calling it, and this is the function right here, but we don't need to see the function, so I'm just going to scroll it out of, out of view so we're not, it's not confusing. So what that's going to do is store a, um, a handle to that IE object. And now what I'm going to do is, just to make sure it's working right, I like to throw up a message box here and say pwb.location URL. Now I'm going to save this, and now... Actually, I need to quit out of my last script. Um, and I'm going to launch this one. And when I run it, here you can see it says https twitter.com, right? That's this URL. So I'm going to go ahead and say that part worked, but what I want to do, like in the others, you know, if I'm on this page, um, I'm going to want to navigate to it, built into the script to navigate to it. However, if I'm on the page, I don't want to navigate. So I'm going to leverage that I just had that, um, and I'm going to say, if that does not equal this in bracket, and now I'm going to nest this into a, a, a several level brackets here. Um, and we're going to call the navigate. So we will say navigate the page. Um, and let me borrow from here. So it's going to get the pointer. Hey, if the pointer doesn't equal this, it'll navigate to it. But what I also want to do is I'm going to add in here um, under navigation. I'm going to say wait for page to load. And this is basically going to, this is a little loop right here, a while loop. And, and it keeps checking every tenth of a second to say, hey, is the page either, if it's busy or it's not four, and four is done, then it'll keep looping, 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 looping until the page is finally loaded, and then when it's finally loaded, it'll move forward. However, of course, if, we're, if the URL is where it's at, it'll never, it'll skip. It does this first line, and it says, you know what, it's, it is equal to that, so skip this whole part here. Um, and then, now we're going to do, now I need my handy-dandy... WB learner tool and Twitter's a little different so I, I click this button it doesn't have and maybe if I looked around I could probably find a page that has the login straight on it with the fields um, however uh, when I was doing it earlier I needed to click this login button and I'll just show you here so it pops up this we don't navigate anywhere but it pops that up um, and that actually it might even be on the same page anyway however you know Let's see. That's a good. That's a good test. Um, let's go ahead and pretend it is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the. This is where the. What is that? A handle? I think is what they call it. Um, session username or email. So apparently I can put either one. That's how Twitter works. Uh, but they've named the name field to this. So I'm gonna click here and that copies that to my clipboard. So let's go back to site. And I'm going to set this on the page, and that is the name. And so, set on page, name, set name to Ray. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be the first one. Value to be... So that, um, I don't remember if she has a Twitter account or not. I think so. And this next one is session password so we're just going to duplicate this one and we'll set that and the value is going to equal which I don't know this password but I'll throw in some text and then let's go actually you know what let's click the remember me button 
right? Because uh, often if I was doing this, I would want that clicked. And so that one's a little different. So it's a checkbox. There's a Remember Me tab. And so what we're going to have to do here is, um, and you know what? Well, I can. it doesn't matter the order. So I'm going to come in here, say Set on Page. And so that was a checkbox. Um, and this one has... So I, I, in my script writer, I have an example of do I want it checked or unchecked, just to remind myself one's a zero, one's a one. So, um, actually, I want to set it to one, so that way it's checked. And, actually, let me look at that. Yeah, yeah, set it to one. And we're going to change this to by name. Oops, by name. throw in that remember me okay now that's checked and let's go ahead and see if this login has a oh that's fun so there's there's no name there's no ID ah but there is a class and so here's another one where they don't have the name or ID but class generally speaking is very reliable to be unique um, so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna come back in here and say set on page class name array that's going to be my class name and hopefully that's the first one so we'll make that a zero and we're going to say click oops okay now what I'm going to do I just saved it and reloaded it I'm going to minimize that minimize this and I'm actually going to close this window here so I didn't click this button and I'm curious if I run my script so I'm going to run it hit run and it see it um, basically it tried to submit it here and I know it says the email or password doesn't match your records right because that isn't a valid account which doesn't surprise me notice the remember me button is checked now but the point being I didn't have to let me hit back and actually what I could also do is I could take that um, the page where I got to right but when I when I I didn't have to click this and bring that up it's it's actually somewhere on this page probably hidden but I, because I'm doing it with um, COM in, in IE, programmatically, I can go ahead and set those things without doing anything. And so that was, uh, that's it. If that had been a valid username password connection, we would have been logged in and good to go. Thank you.